So we finally opened the walk-in part. That was the last piece of this enclosure to be finished. All the five species of lemur are in place. So visitors can come in to the walk-in when we've got a volunteer to man it and come and meet the lemurs if the lemurs choose to. So uh, the visitors can walk in on the path and uh, the lemurs, it's up to the lemurs if they want to come over and say hi or not. But for everyone, I think it's a great achievement because the project has had its setbacks. The first lemurs to move in, the gentle lemurs, we did have that tragic fire and it really was one of the darkest days for the wildlife park. But everybody's really rallied round and I think it shows their resilience in getting this project together. Everyone's been involved, whether it be the keepers doing the final furnishings, we've had the community in, the various bank groups coming to help with the enclosure. Um, all the staff in one way or another have, have put, put work in. We've had the supporters of the Wildlife Park who are a registered charity enabling community groups to come in and help us. So it's just really wonderful that it's the community coming together. Everyone's put their, their effort in to finally uh, get this enclosure open. Ringtail lemurs are endangered, they're going to go critically endangered. There's now less of them in Madagascar than there is in wildlife parks and zoos. So it's really important that we're not only safeguarding animals here at the park, but we're raising awareness and we're raising funds. So when scientists went into a forest in 2017 where they expected to find ringtail lemurs, what they found was a completely empty forest and they found abandoned uh, poacher shelters, which meant the poachers had been in, taken the, the lemurs and moved on. So they would be um, possibly taken for meat. Um, so this is why it's really important that zoos have these breeding programmes, that we have these species that we can keep and safeguard in zoos and that we're using that to raise awareness and funds to do conservation work out in the wild and try and keep what uh, wild animals there are there while they're still there.